I want to talk about a chart that I have done that explains how we start depending, as human race, we start depending on a technology and how our vulnerability increases because it's a new technology. Here in blue, you can see how a human, how human race will start building dependency on a technology. That technology could be anything from cars to trains to airports to aeroplanes to internet to search engines. It could be anything or security software. And then I'm going to show you how that technology, when it starts, has vulnerabilities. And then, unfortunately, you get an event trigger point where it makes you realize, hey, this dependency that we built has created this vulnerability and it caused this, what is known as event trigger, to happen for us. It could be a drastic uh, incident. And then we start thinking about security. Now let me give you an example. Airports, we used to be able to go into an airport without having to take our shoes off, without having to take our pants off <laughs> nowadays. Uh, we used to build dependency on airports. We used to go in, not a problem. We used to get onto aeroplanes without much hassle. The vulnerability was always there. But then 9-11 happened. That's the event trigger point. And after 9-11, we said, hang on a minute. You better start taking your shoes off, your pants off, your laptop off. And we learned our lesson for security to make sure that we don't allow people in the aeroplanes without checking them properly. Well, I mean, take that as cars. We invented cars. We were driving nicely, not a problem, until cars started getting, you know, slightly faster and people used to get killed and uh, cars started getting adoption, thanks to Henry Ford. And uh, what happened is that people used to die at 20 miles an hour. And then they said, hang on a minute, there's too many people dying. That was the event trigger point. They said, let's introduce seat belts. And then vulnerability of cars went down. Let's take up internet and computers. Our adoption is growing, growing exponentially, internet and uh, computing. Our vulnerability is huge and it's increasing. I'm hoping there won't be, but I'm guessing there will be an event trigger that will make us think, oh dear, and we'll start securing ourselves. My job is try to reduce that vulnerability down to a more manageable level and do not leave it so wide open so that this event trigger will be a catastrophic event. I am an eternal optimist. That's what I'm doing what I'm doing. I believe there are good times, good days ahead of us. I'm trying to minimize the bad times by reducing that vulnerability down. You've just heard the thoughts of Meli Abdulhayolu. If Meli has provoked you on issues like security and trust on the internet, authentication, and malware prevention, please visit www.meli.com for more.